um, big volume reading. So I'll show you a couple things. Um, it's a low tech thing, but it's a very sturdy station. Um, we found when people used it, uh, I sat in the room with a user tester, a blind uh, senior. We were sitting here like this, doing his stuff. When we're done, he says, so are we done? I was like, yeah, we're done. He's like, okay. Thank you pulled himself up with the green, right? That can bear a 50 pound load. Very sturdy, very strong. Right? Now, it also is very portable. So I can fold it up and take it on the go. Got a handle, got a thing to go. Can't take this one on the go because we have it secured to the uh, to the station. You asked me a question, which was, um, is there other properties to this station that make it uh, important as a tool? I'll show you one or two things. First, it docks in nicely like that. You can be powering it while you're working, which is good, which is background. Um, and you put in these three cables here, easy to find because they're located here. Now I can control the device from down here. Now I don't have to raise my arm. Again, that senior, that senior is having difficulty. Uh, that senior sets the book down. I might have uh, a problem in my shoulder, and I don't want to reach all the way up here, right? Now I just have to reach for this button, right? So we can capture this text. Uh, we can get um, full text on the page. Uh, all of this will be captured when I do it. So I'll go ahead and do it like this. It's not Take a picture. It is, it um, it'll it's capture that content. And there's audio feedback that's happening there that's going to tell us when it's shooting. Um, it's made I didn't hit it hard enough, sorry. So, it'll take a photo of something as big as this? I mean, like a magazine? Oh, yeah. It's wide enough. It can, it can handle the entire surface, no problem. Sorry. Um, uh, and that's another function of this tray, is this tells me if I'm in the tray, I'm seen by the, I'm seen by the book. So, that's an important factor. Um, good for people with multiple disabilities. Uh, so, um, being able to uh, <laughs> capture that content uh, uh, this by is shooting with it, you can just go ahead and shoot where you want. Download books um, and you also yeah, can have the, be, uh, this page uh, holder back here is another feature. Is so if we were, for example, at the end of the book and stuff's starting to write up on us, right? instead of putting my hand down and hold that, I can't do that because it can't read through my hand. I just lay that down like that. Nice service. Right it doesn't take it goes right through it. Of the menu um, at the restaurant. And when you, and when you do that, you can go ahead and shoot it. Let's say you have you have only. Maybe now, what's the average time of converting? About 30 seconds a page is, is what you should there. expect. Um, but you want to go into uh, a restaurant and, and read it's important menu. though that I can go off and do other stuff while it's converting. Uh, so I just go to the next page because the atom processor inside is allowing you to get that in the background. So I go ahead and shoot. You'll see here that there's a lot of glare from all these lights, no problem. And we have polarizing filters in both the strobe and the lens that will cancel that out and make it a smooth reading Do you have vibration reduction in the lens? Uh, we use a, a, a fast shutter speed, and that compensates for a lot of that. So it's a very brief thing. The truth is, a technical detail, it's actually the strobe is faster than the shutter. So it's actually the strobe that is freezing action in the way that strobe freezes things. Right? So, what is your name and title? My name is Ben Foss, and I'm directly Director of Access Technology for the Digital Health Group at Intel. I filed the first patents on this product three years ago because I'm a user. I'm dyslexic. I don't read well, uh, and this is a way for me to gain independence. And so, what gives me? What gives me? Yeah, you can shoot it upside down. It's still very nice. Yeah. Very I'm sorry, you had a question. The, the cost and the yes. accessibility. Um, the price is $1,500. Uh, this is a $400 device. Um, talking with folks, cool. teachers have been telling us they like that because before they had to buy a laptop and a scanner and special software that cost over $1,000 on its own. And now they're getting five hours a week back because before they were scanning materials for their kids. Now they say, hey, you're 12 years old. Take this, take the homework, and go ahead and read it. And that's the Intel reader.